Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We're live in Park City and it is Friday. Yes. You're planning your dinners, you're planning your weekend, and we have Stacy Springer here to help you figure it all out. Good morning. Good morning. This I'm excited about because this is one of my favorites and I always order it when I go to restaurants. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, so tell people awesome. what we're making. We are making Mongolian beef. That's so yes. good. Yummy. Yeah. Right. And simple. I and think people order it because they're like, I don't want to make that. that. I need that. Yes. Yeah. That's why I order it because I'm incapable. But you are going to teach what? me. You're right here, okay. sister. Changing your life. I'm changing it right okay, now. Okay. So I started with flank steak. Kay. Okay. And it's um, really, uh, what's the word? I think it's got the, stra the strands in it. You can see right. the way you the grains see the run. Runs. Yeah. yeah. And so you want to cut it against the grain. I already did this and I did it, you know, fairly thin. Okay. Because we want to cook it really fast. This is a stir fry in a way. Sure. Okay? okay. So we do that. I did some cornstarch in there and a little bit of soy sauce. And if you leave it on for half an hour, if you have the time, an hour, great. If you just have a few minutes, why fine. the cornstarch? It adds to the thickness of the sauce. It kind of oh. tenderizes it a little bit. Okay. And when you cut against the grain, that helps with the chewiness it helps to of absorb it, too. it. All right. Yeah, Good perfect. To know. Okay, so you're gonna make a sauce. Actually, I am. we'll do that. So we've got. You can start in any. You got any all these order. things here. So we've got. We want two tablespoons of brown sugar. So you got one there. So okay. you just need one more. Hey, good packing. Done. <laughs> see, I'm not totally useless. Let's no, see. look at it's fun. I'm it's like not, baking, but not. It'll be much not. Bit faster. All right, two tablespoons two of tablespoons. brown sugar. Then what this am I doing? This is soy sauce. You can just dump all that in. All of it. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna do cornstarch. We want two tablespoons, so you can just use that can that's I use in there. This one? Yeah. Okay. You can guesstimate, okay? Because I am not a baker. I want to be able to be free. I love that just, about you, Stacey. Yes. Thank you. Let me be free. Freedom. In the kitchen, right? right here. Less chance of messing it up. What's a little this bit of one? water. Just a da the just, whole thing. Yep, the whole thing. And then the rest of it is beef stock. And then you're just gonna whisk it together with your fork. You can get out a whisk, but. You don't you know need that. What? Let's cheat. That's we'll do fancy. A fork. Yeah, that's fancy. We're not fancy. Okay, so here. we're gonna let that hang out for a minute. I'm gonna okay. put some. Just this is just vegetable oil in. Okay. And I want my pan wicked hot. Wicked hot. Wicked I feel like hot. I'm back in Boston. Make it <laughs> wicked hot, Stacy. <laughs> and then my beef goes in. Okay. I do have some scallions. I chopped it in there. Okay. You don't have to do that. I have some time. I don't want to crowd my pan, so maybe I'll do mm. halves. It already smells good. Right? right. We're done. It's easy. Sugar and soy sauce is a good thing. Okay, if you're doing this with chicken, you're gonna wanna cook it all the way through. The beef, we can get away with a rare, medium rare, depends on your liking to okay. it. So just a couple minutes in here. Um, we can add our ginger in here. Oh, you can smell this beautifulness. Mm, I just take nice. a peeler and pull off the ends of it and then just I use it. I chew on the ginger, it's really good, yeah. So that goes in the sauce? Yeah, just go in there, cause it's all gonna eventually get in here. Garlic as well? Garlic as well, yep. And I love that you pre dice you pre mint. I pre dice You know, if you buy the canned stuff, I totally forgive you. It's, everything's fine. If you want to use ground, you can get away with that too, but it's not going to quite have that restaurant feel that you're like, wow, that was the That's thing. That's really good. That okay. was the thing. Perfect. Okay, so here I'm just kind of turning my beef. We're cooking the beef. We're cooking the beef. I want a little bit of browning on it. Look how like it's gonna cook it's so super easy. quick. It's cooking really fast. Yes. We have how hot did we have it? Wicked hot. Wicked, wicked, wicked hot. hot. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. So we're gonna let this cook for a few minutes. Okay. And then we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna do our sauce. Love it. All right. We are gonna take a break while we continue with the recipe. There's gonna be a lot of eating here on the Mountain Morning Show. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be back with US Nordic I mean that you saw the tape of one of the longest jumps that we've ever seen. We get to have them live in studio right after this. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We are wrapping up the week and Friday special with some yummy food with our friend Stacy Springer. Yay, Yay, yummy food. That makes me happy. Fridays yes, are happy. Fridays are a happy day and we're going to be a little bit happier with some Mongolian beef. <sighs> Absolutely. Okay, so we pulled out our... This is my sauce. Yeah, stir it up a little bit because some of it settles. Okay, I'm Kay. whisking. Whisking. Okay, you're going to hit it into the pan here. All right. It's going to be hot. Woo, woo. And it's gonna thicken up, so we want, oh, I don't know. Look at that, okay. Look at it, isn't it, look at it. Oh, it's, it's so delicious. delicious. Okay, we're gonna put our beef back in and toss it through. Okay. 
And then we've got some rice that I we cooked. We have brown rice pre-cooked because it's TV. Okay, what's awesome though is I cooked that in the pressure cooker. You know about ah. these things? They are fabulous. That's yeah. fun. You brought the pressure cooker on the show one day. Yes, yeah. It's, so, it's such a big trend right now. I've been teaching that class for a couple of years okay. and it's just blown up. Is it just taking off? It's not because of me, but <laughs> yes. Stacy is making it's the pressure because cooker of me. blow up. It's blow the new trend up. in the kitchen. It's so fast. I mean, so this rice we did, I think it was 13 minutes and we had like four cups it was okay. and, and brown rice it can take 40 minutes so right that's, that's a bit what, like it's yeah a big deal so we're gonna prepare our service right here okay here i'll hold the bowl Thank for you, you okay and look at our beef oh my gosh well and the so sauce good. you're right with look a little bit of cornstarch it gets so creamy yeah so all right throw that, that is there. it and then we're gonna top it with Beautiful. some our, our scallions here why go to a restaurant if now I can make this I by know, myself? I know, I know. It might be a wee yeah, bit just, hot, but right. I would like Look at you. How oh my gosh. This is. And so, look, Stacy, always prepared with a napkin and a fork. So absolutely. So if you want to give that a go. And so this is, I pulled my meat off while we were on break, and um, so it's not overdone. Otherwise, if I'm leaving it in the whole time, we are well, well, well done. Okay, but I, no, I, I like it that. a little bit more rare. Yes. And then it makes it more tender and ju juicy. Hold on, oh, I'm just so cutting good. off a little piece here. Get there, girl. Hot. Just cut. Hot. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, yes please. Victory. Mmm. You can do this too. It's so easy. This right? makes me happy because you just think that you can only get food like this when you order it in a restaurant. It's true. I know that sounds terrible, but I, you know, it, this right. was pretty easy. Absolutely. I feel like I could. You're my safety blanket, but I feel like I could do this at home, <laughs> probably by myself. I'll stand by you. I know. Right? Until you me and then do this, do this. Because you could totally do this. This is fantastic and good for you. Brown rice, a little bit of protein, not a lot of extras in there. Right. Healthy exactly. Meal. So for people that want to see all of your amazing, delicious recipes, where can they go? They can go to ekbytes.com, and I have put up a whole list of new classes coming up. Mm. So I do workshops. I have, those are three hours usually on a Saturday. I have a date night class, and we do fresh That's a pasta. fun date night. Yeah. We do steak. And we do the perfect like grilling meats. Okay. And the guys get like super excited about that. I mean, I'm not saying women can't get excited about that, but. We like to grill That's as when well. The men are like, so boys the, tend to really own the grill sometimes. Exactly. And so so really cool. they learn the, the few tips that can make it like We can perfect. send them outside in the snow. I love that. I so there's a little bit of something for everyone. Yeah. And you said you were doing a vegetarian class. We are. That's April 22nd. And that's, yeah, coming up. And kids camps for the for the summer so they're five days long and they're two hours every day and it's ages eight to 16. okay and it's it's an amazing class and they get a knife and they i get think it's so important to introduce food to kids early Absolutely. seasonality when you can buy things how to do it for themselves that's yeah. something i've seen with even with my own kids and it's so much fun to see them in the kitchen and get excited about the ingredients that they're eating and it's then they so actually fun. care what they're putting into their bodies it's true when right? they're invested then when they they're invested care. and they have something for it and they have accomplishment because they know how to do it, and it's a big deal. And then they, hard. just one more thing I don't have to do. If they're making dinner, genius. I'm out. See? We're, We're starting them early. Yeah. I love it. It's super fun. Thank you. Yeah. Stacy. thank Welcome you so much you. for a little Mongolian beef in the morning. It Anytime. was delicious. And of course, head on over to her website, and you can see all of the amazing recipes and classes so you can learn from the chef herself. We hope you thank had you. a fantastic week. We're thrilled you joined us on the Mountain Morning Show's Friday program. Go outside this weekend. Saturday, it's going to be bright and sunny and warm and spring-like. You only have a few weeks left to get out on your skis, get out on your board, so slap on the sunscreen and go have so much fun. On behalf of all of us here at Park City Television, myself, Stacy, have a fantastic weekend, everybody.